Hi everyone! Hi, hi, hi! Welcome sa ating uh, J Talks podcast. My name is Jay and this is the part 3 of our mini-series entitled You Are Qualified. So um, if you miss um, to listen our um, previous episodes, our part 1 or part 2, please listen to it because uh, this will surely bless you. So before we start, Please subscribe to our podcast so that uh, you will never miss our uh, any of our episodes, our ne- um, next episodes. Uh, we are in Spotify, in Anchor, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Overcast, Breaker, Pocket Cast, and Radio Public. And also please subscribe or follow our social media platforms if you are watching via YouTube, uh, pa- Facebook page, or Instagram. We also have other social media accounts like Twitter and um, TikTok. So just search JTalks PH. So right now we will continue how God called Moses um, to be the leader that God wants him to be. So we are talking about in this uh, mini series um, entitled "You Are Qual- You Are Qualified." Yung kung paano tinawag ng Dios si Moses to become the leader. Uh, for the for his generation. So in our last episode, um, we learned that um, the um, that uh, yung first question or first excuse ni Moses kay God nung tinawag siya, um, ang tanong niya kay God is who am I? So right now we will talk about um, the next excuse or the next question of Moses to God, uh, and yung tanong na yon ay who are you. So, let's read chap- um, Exodus chapter 3 verse 11 to 13. Sabi dito, But Moses said to God, Who am I that I should go to Pharaoh and that I should bring the children of Israel out of Egypt? So he said, Sabi ni God, I will certainly be with you. And this uh, shall be a sign to you that I have sent you when you have brought the people of- out of Egypt. You shall serve God on this mountain. And so verse 13, sabi ni Moses kay God, Indeed, when I come to the children of Israel, I say to them, and I say to them, The God of your fathers has sent me to you. And they say to me, What is his name? What shall I say to them? So, um, iniisip na Moses na pagka nakipag-meet na siya sa sa mga taga-Israelites, sa mga Israelites, baka tanungin siya, what is his name? Ano yung pangalan nung tumawag sa'yo para apuntahan kami? So, we will see here that Moses is asking God the question, who are you? So, Moses felt a lack of knowledge about God, lack of intimacy with him. He didn't know God well enough to describe him to the people and lack convictions concerning his relationship with God. So, um, this is also my question to you um, sa nakikinig ng episode na to. My question is, do you know God? Kilala mo ba ang Diyos? Kilala mo ba talaga ang Diyos? How do you know Him? Um, alam natin na merong difference between knowing about God and knowing God. So, for example, um, I know something about President Duterte, sa ating Presidente. President Duterte, I know he came from Davao. He, uh, he was a previous mayor there in Davao. Uh, may apat siyang anak, if I'm not mistaken. And other things na patungkol kay President Duterte. But I don't know President Duterte personally. Hindi kami um, connected sa isa't isa in a personal level. So, doon natin makikita yung difference ng knowing about that person and knowing the person himself. So, knowing about God and knowing God. Amen? So, do you know, uh, do you just have um, some knowledge about God or do you know Him personally? Do you have personal relationship with Him? So we have to understand the importance of how we see God. Maganda yun eh, mahalaga yun eh, na mahalaga yung kung paano natin tinitingnan ang ating Diyos. 
Because how we see God, how we see Him, is how we receive from Him. Amen. If you see Him as your um, healer, definitely you will receive your healing. If you uh, see Him as your provider, you will see Him as um, your provider. Definitely you will receive your provision, yung mga kailangan mo sa buhay. If you see Him as your only Savior that you have, definitely you will receive your salvation. So mahalaga na kilala natin ang Diyos in a personal level. Maganda na may, meron tayong um, personal relationship with Him. And hindi siya yung, yung personal relationship na sinasabi ko, hindi siya yung um, uh, in a religious way. Amen? Hindi siya yung religious way or tradition na ginagawa natin in, in our churches. Um, hindi yon Ang sinasabi ko, yung personal relationship natin sa Kanya. Kung nakikipag-usap ka ba sa Kanya, kung nagpe-pray ka ba, kung... Um, kumbaga yung uh, nakikilala mo ba siya talaga in a personal way so uh, may kita natin dito na si Moses may ganun ding uh, parang lack of knowledge about God lack of knowledge about um, how great how great our God is lack of knowledge yung capability ng ating Diyos so how God answered Moses on his question who are you May kita natin niya sa verse 14. Sabi dito, And God said to Moses, I am who I am. <laughs> and he said, thus you, thus you shall say to the Isra- children of Israel, I am has sent me <clears throat> to you. God says, I am who I am. I am every present help. I am your ever present help. And I am everything that you need. So I am. That's the great. He is the great I am. Yun yung pangalan ni God sa, um, sa Old Testament. And um, ganun din yung maganda na kung paano natin siya tinitingnan. He is the great I am. So kung ano yung pangangailangan mo ngayon, He is the great I am. Kung, pang, kung ang pangangailangan mo ngayon ay provision, he is the great I am. He is, I, uh, sinasabi niya sa'yo, I am your source. I am your provision. Kung nangangailangan ka ng, pang, ng healing um, today, I am your healer, God is saying to you right now. So, if you need safety, I am your protection. If you need help, I am the ever present help. So, kung ano yung kailangan mo ngayon, He is. <laughs> Amen? He is everything that you need today. So, whatever you need today, the answer is God is God today is I am. He is everything that you need. He is Christ Jesus Himself. So, my conclusion in this episode Whatever you are going through right now, always remember that God is for you. He is not against you. He is not against you. Um, siguro iniisip mo ngayon, ang dami kong pagkakamali, ang dami kong kasalanan sa Diyos. Um, sabi ng Bible, hindi ka natin, um, lahat ng kasalanan natin ay pinatawad na ng Panginoon. Bakit? Kasi lahat ng judgment ng kasalanan natin ay pinataw na sa katawan ni Kristo sa krus ng Kalbaryo. God sent His own Son to die for you. And ano yung reason ni God? Um, bakit niya pinadala ang kanyang anak na si Jesus? Because He loves you. Sabi yan sa John 3.16, For God so love the world. For God so love you that He gave His only begotten Son for you. Amen? So, for whosoever believes in Him shall not perish but have everlasting life. And sabi nga sa Romans chapter 8, verse 31, What then shall we say to these things? If God is for us, who can be 
against us. So always remember that God is for you. He is not against you, but He is always for you. He is a good God. He is a good, good Father. So right now, if you don't have um, a personal relationship with our God, I, in, I am inviting you to um, accept um, that um, invitation by accepting Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. Sabi sa Bible, if you believe in your heart and confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, you will be saved. So I'm inviting you um, to pray this um, prayer and repeat after me, Panginoong Jesus, maraming salamat sa natapos mong gawa sa krus. Thank you, Lord, for giving your life for me, for loving me. And thank you, Lord, right now, I am accepting you as my Lord and Savior of my life. I believe that you died for me and you are now alive, resurrected from the dead, seated at the right hand of God. And sabi ng Bible, as you are, so am I. Thank you, Lord. Be the Lord and Savior of my life. From now on, Amen and Amen. So if you pray that prayer and believe in your heart, you are saved already. So welcome sa family of God. And thank you, thank you, thank you for um, praying that uh, um, acceptance prayer. And um, if you pray that prayer, please, please, please leave a comment kung saan ka man nanonood and um, please uh, let me know so that um, I can assist you on your um, growth in uh, as a Christian or your growth as a child of God. So I congratulate you, my friend. So kung pinray mo yon, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And God loves you so much. So that's it. I believe um, naka-encourage ako ng someone today through this episode. And please um, uh, wait for our next episodes kasi napaka-ganda na itong uh, mini-series natin entitled You Are Qualified. Through this episode, we will know who we are in Christ Jesus and what we are, um, the reason what we are living for. So thank you so much for listening um, in this podcast, in this episode, and have a great day.